This is the story about a world of adventure, a sea full of excitement, and a man full of dreams, and a passion that seeks to drive him to the top. My name is Monkey J. Luffy, and I'm going to be king of the... I love you, Edward. And I love you, Bella. Hold on. Who is it? Oh, you know. A real fucking vampire. Police girl, do you have the target? Um, master, my name is Ceres. And yes, I have the target in sight. <laughs> well, you better take the shot, you're going to miss it. I'm trying to line up the- You're going to miss it, you're going to miss it. If you would just be quiet and- Hey, hey police girl, hey, hey police girl, hey, hey- <laughs> I took the fucking shot! She's dead, there's blood everywhere! Oh, you're just a treat. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did all this come about? Well, it happened on a midnight walk through the woods. The air was clear, the moon was full, and I was dying to sink my teeth into something. You know, because I'm a vampire. <laughs> it's funny. So, you came. What? But you're far too late. Everyone's already dead, except for this little tot. Ugh. But don't worry. I'm still going to kill her. Neat. But first, I'm going to her. Cool. But before I can do any of that, I'm going to kill you. Oh? Well, that would be intimidating if you were, well, intimidating. Uh, are you mocking me? Oh, no, 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 no. Pfft, yeah. Well, that seems to wrap things up here. Uh, uh. Oh, right, I forgot about you. <coughs> Sorry about that whole shooting you thing, but I'm sure if you look into your heart, which is currently all over that tree, you will find it to forgive me. You look like a puppy. A blonde eviscerated puppy. Okay, fine, Christ, I'll help you. But only because he has nice tits. So, that's your field report. Yep. You went on a walk through the woods at midnight. Yep. You killed a homicidal vampire priest. Dead. And you turned someone to a vampire who happened to be... A big titty police girl, yes, as if I just didn't get done explaining this. Now, if you excuse me, I have things to do. What things? You don't do things. Yes, I do. I take enthusiastic walks through the woods. And kill homicidal vampire priests. Very enthusiastic walks. So, that's your field report. Yep. You broke into the house. Yep. 
and you shot him 36 times. 37. And took out his partner. To be fair, that was a police girl. With the big titties. You need to stop going on walks. And you need to hurry up and hook up some goddamn DSL in here. Listen, you have an assignment in Ireland. Oh, I've never hunted down a leprechaun before. Do you think if I shoot them with my gun, Lucky Charms will explode everywhere? Sweet Christ. Just go to Ireland, kill the vampire who's taken over the hospital, and take the police girl with you. Oh, I have to take her everywhere. Ah, 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 none of the sass. Yes, Mom. What can I do for Father Patrick O'Connor O'Malley O. Henry O'Sullivan, who's also Italian? Tell me, Anderson, what is your favorite thing to do? Spreading the word of God to the people of the world. And the killing of vampires. Oh, just try to fucking stop me. And Protestants. Second verse, same as the first. Now put me on a plane so I can put him in a hearse. Police girl, police girl. This is totally fun. You should join in. There's like 40 zombies in here. There's one shot to the head. And they explode. It's like House of the Dead, but a thousand times more awesome. Fine, I'll shoot some of the rotten bastards. Can't be that much fun. Oh, fuck the hell yes. <laughs> Sweet black fucking Sabbath. If I wasn't holding out for that beast of a woman in Tigra, I'd fuck the red right out of those eyes. Kinda like that, but less symbolism and more my penis in your vagina. <laughs> hmm? Suddenly it reeks of hypocrisy in here. Oh well, if it isn't the Catholic Church. And what's this? No little Timmy glued to your crotch. Progress! Oh, look what we have here! A bloody heathen! Excuse me, but I'm a fuck mother and vampire. I killed a lot of people to get this title. I deserve to be called such. Well then, mind if I ask you your name? Only if you give yours first, papist. Fine, I'll give you the courtesy. The name's... Alexander Anderson. Oh, fuck all kinds of duck. You have been chosen to reveal my existence to the world. You will witness what happens here today, and you will tell of it later. Except you won't, because I've killed ya! <laughs> oh my. Marvelous speech. And how unoriginal. That's totally from Boondock Saints. What? No it isn't. I came up with that a week ago. Whatever. We're here for the vampire. The only one left here is your sorry pale ass! <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a minute, give me a minute. So what do you want anyway? The closest elementary school is about 10 kilometers that way. It is your corrupt acclaim. It is your evil that will be sought by me with every breath! Boondock Saints! Seriously, you must watch that movie religiously. <laughs> Get it? You know what? Fuck it. Knife. Knife? Master! Boom! <laughs> Headshot. Well, now that that's over, why don't you and I go back to my place and we can have a bowl of Count Shock You! Master! Now that that's taken care of, why don't you and I head back to my place and we can have a little Frankenberry? Oh, set up a Protestant whore! Well, you know what time it is! You see, this is the type of shit as to why I stopped going to church. Police girl, police girl, you are reading your master's mind. 
Put my head between your boobs. Now I'm all alone. The only one I had left was you. Now I die. Now put my head between your boobs. God damn it! It's a shame that you lost your head. A careless vampire who wound up dead. You wore your sin like some kind of prize. Too many lies. Too many lies. Say your prayers, we lass. <laughs> that girl belongs to me. Well, aren't you the naughty one? Don't make me shoot you in the fucking head. What do you want, you crazy partisan bastard? I'm a woman. Call yourself whatever you want, you crazy partisan bastard! You do know this is a grave violation of our agreement. And what part would that be? The part where you're here, killing my men. I don't know what you're on about. I'm just here doing my job. Killing vampires, werewolves, and leprechauns. I never actually found one, but you think if I cut it open with my knife, it would spill out Lucky Charms? Just shut up. Where the hell is Alucard? Oh, him? I killed him! Killed him? Cut off his bloody head! Oh, well, that's step one. What about two through ten? Ah, oh, Christ! You done goofed. How the blood sucked person hell did you do that? Fuck you, that's how. To hell with all you filthy heathens! Eat me, don't forget to write! Oh, oh my god. You survived. <sighs> so, what? Do I get to go after him? No. Aw, oh, come on! No, and that's final. We have bigger things to worry about. Whoever is behind these vampire attacks is obviously part of some large organized group. Like the Nazis? Alucard, don't be a dumbass. Gentlemen, the a Nazis, and the will have war, and the and the and the it's you, it's all time, it's all time. Hello, Alucard. How was your mission in Japan? Oh, I say about ninety nine. <laughs> 0.9% done. Sup, bitch? Listen, I need to talk to you about an important video conference I'm having today. Are they strippers? No. And like that, you've lost me. There are financial suppliers. Oh man, they've got to hate us. They do. That's why they canceled our budget. <sighs> Ooh, that's bad. We need that, right? Walter, we need that, right? Yes, sir. Very important. Thank you, Walter. Over the past couple of years, we've had some expensive claims. Like what? First off, property damage. Good times. Noise complaints. Sorry, I can't hear you. Killing over a dozen innocent people. Oh, so did Anthony Hopkins, they got a fucking Oscar for it! And... All of the sexual harassment. I'm not apologizing. Listen, I know this is asking a lot, but... But... I want you to keep yourself locked in the basement until I'm done with the conference. I get the distinct impression you're embarrassed of me. Alucard? I'm gonna go with no. 
This is important, and I don't need you making another scene. I don't need to take this. I'm going for a walk. No, you don't. What are you going to do? Get that guy who can stop me? What is his name? Michael McDuffin exist? <sighs> what do you want? What? What do I need to give you to keep you down here for the evening? I'm going to need a new gun. And one for the police girl. But I already have a gun. Get that bitch a cannon! Bitches love cannons. Anything else? A 70 inch plasma screen TV. Really? With Netflix. Should it also be 3D? No, that's a stupid fucking gimmick and everybody knows it. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you very much for accepting this video conference. Given the severity of your financial situation, it is the least we could do. Now before we begin, I was under the impression that our budget was handled directly by the Queen. Oh, it is. But we're having an extremely difficult time justifying some of these expenses. Most of them under the name Alucard. Continue. For example, some of them were just labeled as entertainment. Entertainment? Quite, like in my report. 20,000 for a candy? That's candy with an eye, by the way. I see. Not to mention the priceless antique car. I believe the note on the claim was... I tried to paint it red, but I couldn't find enough goats, so I scrapped it. So that's why I found my father's car covered in goat's blood and rammed into a Dairy Queen. Oh yes, and then there's a Dairy Queen incident, sitting at about $95,000 in damages. I would do fucking anything to get out of this right now. So halfway through blowing me, she OG's on heroin. I really don't like discussing my ex-girlfriend with you. I still finished, but what kind of shit is that? For God's sakes, Yarn, think of mother! I'm not jerking off right now. Oi, you two! The grounds are currently closed. Aw oh, man, that totally sucks. And we came all the way out here with these foreign exchange students for a field trip through London. Where from? Texas. Ah oh shit, looks like we need more prayer in schools. If you're quite finished, ready the ghouls. I'm gonna go find Alucard. You, over on the rest of the mansion. Alrighty, everyone off the bus and line up in order. I got a class assignment for all y'all. And though the mime did survive, he'll never walk again. That's funny, we weren't cutting the power over there just yet. Oh shit. Front desk, report. What's going on? Oh, hey, yeah. Hold on. Just give me a second. Whoa. Oh yeah, it's cool. Definitely, definitely. Oh my god! Sir Integra, are you okay over there? It's okay, I have 100 guards on premise at all times. We have everything under control. What was that? That was probably my escape chopper exploding. As I was saying, let me just call communications and get a full update. Communications, we need a full report. <laughs> Read the fucking paper. <laughs> Read it fucking right, cockhole! Hey there, you fat English whore! That's more like it. Me and my big brother Luke are killing all of your men and turning them into ghouls. So I, I hope you've made peace with yourself. Cause when I find you, I'm gonna... Oh god. Read it or I shoot the other testicle. Go! 
Because when I find you, I'm gonna fuck every hole you've got. And then I'm gonna just keep making more holes to fuck. Until there's nothing left but your riddled corpse full of blood. And semen. Oh god, this is horrible. You're not finished yet. So prepared to try to pussy. For my huge vampire cock. Now pardon me while I blow this f***ing ginger's brains out. Oh god! <laughs> His fucking face, man! <laughs> Priceless! <laughs> Alucard, get up here now! I'm locked in my office on the third floor. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I'm under direct orders from my boss, who's a total bishop, by the way, uh, that I'm not to leave this room until such time as the video conference has ended. I was even bribed! Would you imagine that? Alucard, you've been paragraphed, so I will! Sounds great, but I just queued up at an episode of Adventure Time on Netflix. Bye! <laughs> Walter! Hello, Yawn. How's my favorite big brother doing? Oh, you know, just killed a couple of guards. Shit, bro. You too? What's your kill count at? Nah, don't tell me. I'm winning. They were guarding a secret passageway. Not really keeping it a secret if you have a bunch of armed guards standing around it. Well, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go skull fuck that Helsing bitch. Ah, fuck it. Skull fucking for everyone! Come here, ghoul! <sighs> well, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Okay, Walter and his assistant should be here any second now. But you're locked in! How are they gonna get to you? Whoa! Tell me, ho! Good to see you, Walter. Of course, sir. The first two floors have been overrun. All our communications with the outside have been cut off, and Alucard is being... Alucard? A total ass, yes. Please, tell me you have a plan. I shall do as the butler does. And tidy up. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Now, if I gave a shit, I just might give a fuck, but I don't give a shit, so I don't give a- <laughs> Fuck was that? Hello, my name is Walter C. Jornays, ex-vampire hunter and butler to the housing organization. I answer the door, I clean up the estate, I take out the trash, and I kill self-entitled little twice like yourself. Well, aren't you just a textbook fucking definition of classy? Well, guess what, Jeeves? That garak wire won't do shit for dick against armor this thick. What's that, Alfred? How thick is it? Well, half as thick as my dick. So thick that you're gonna need an anti-tank rifle to pierce it. And I don't see a piece on your wrinkly old ass. Police girl, if you may. Bitches love cannons. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle. Oh, fuck, that's an anti-tank rifle! <laughs> that was a 70-inch plasma screen TV. <sighs> so, how can I help you? So, you must be the great Alucard. So. I've heard quite a bit about you. Oh, really? The Nightwalker. Who glides through oceans of blood. Beyond human. A monster whose power radiates with darkness that casts shadows on darkness itself. Oh, you dirty bitch. Work the shaft. Excuse you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like to dirty talk when someone's sucking my dick. Perhaps I should just get to my point. 
My name is Luke Valentine. And I'm Carmen San Diego. Guess where I am? I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you. Oh, and so am I. And I'm failing. And I'm sorry for that. It's just that I'm so agitated because this blonde little shit burst into my room, destroyed my 70 inch plasma screen TV, and is now trying to impress me like I'm his alcoholic father. Be this one and grab daddy another beer, would you? Armed guards everywhere! A uh, fucking bitch! That is quite impressive. Where did you learn that hold? Oh wow! It's almost as if I'm a police girl or something! Sarcasm is unbecoming of you. Wow, gee willikers, mister. I sure am sorry I slaughtered all your guards and tore up your mansion. I promise I learned my- Take a joke, asshole! And everything you say just pisses me off! Now, you're going to tell me everything I want to know. Okay, what you do is, you go down to the pharmacy, ask for something called Viagra, and I'll help you go fuck yourself! And now it's time for the upcoming company picnic! Unfortunately, all your douchebag co-workers are bringing is their own rotten flesh. Still be a potato salad if you ask me. Now if you don't mind, I'm gonna go eat that housing bitch. <gasps> I got your arm! So shove it up your ass! Well that's not fair at all. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Where the fuck did all my goals go? Oh, they've been... dealt with. <laughs> well, at least I'm gonna die with a raging boner. Alright, shit for brains. You're going to spill everything you know or I'm gonna have Walter here peel your dick like a banana. <laughs> I don't know what's fucking funnier. The fact that you think your tithis ass intimidates me, or that you think my boss would let me live if you did. <sighs> and now I'm on fucking fire! So it's free game! The one who sent me was... Nazis! <laughs> I heard George Lucas. Who else heard George Lucas? I heard Miami Heat. I heard the Motley Crue is my vampire hearing. Wait. Where's the big brother? You can't touch me! My speed, my stamina, my power! Dwarf yours! In comparison to you, I am a demigod! Really? 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 Release restraint level one. Level what? Ah! I just gotta get up the stairs. I gotta get up the stairs. Just gotta. Oh, fuck. They say TV makes you violent. But I say, me not having my TV is making me pretty fucking violent. My. You? What the fuck? Come on, you were talking all that good shit a second ago, and then I blew your fucking legs off! <laughs> What's wrong, demigod? Just grow back your legs! Summon up your demons! Hit me! Fight me! Give me a hug! Really? Oh god, no! Welcome to Epic Meal Time! I'm Boss Haas, and tonight we're eating this little demigod wannabe bitch! Who is that, exactly? Oh, that's just the card, the one we talked about earlier. This is what happens when he has to entertain himself. Now, what was that issue about the budget? Issue? What issue? I don't see an issue! Shut up and take our money! Ah, just like that, everything turned out fine in the end. Yes, everything turned out fine. 
Except for the fact that 99% of our staff were killed, turned into ghouls, and then killed again by the police girl in a blood rage. What's a blood rage? And why don't I remember anything? That reminds me for whatever reason. Did we ever find out who sent them? It was the Nazis, wasn't it? No. Betcha I'm right. Betcha you're wrong. Betcha you're a skank. Betcha you're an asshole. BITCH I EAT PEOPLE!